So in order to log into your PayPal account, you're going to need the email of your PayPal account or the mobile number. You can use the mobile number too. I advise that you use the email and there's a reason for that. And then there is also a password. The reason why I advise you use an email instead of a mobile number is you can actually have multiple PayPal accounts. Using your mobile number can confuse you as to which account you're accessing if you have multiple accounts. Now I'm going to select login. I have my password and my email entered. You should now you can receive a text message. This will be sent to the mobile number that is associated with your PayPal account. So when you created the PayPal account, you would have entered a mobile number. You need access to this if you're going to use this method. You will still need access to this if you're using WhatsApp because you can receive a WhatsApp message. And of course, as you know, you will need your phone that has the WhatsApp application installed on it. Then you can have a phone call. That's another choice that you can have. The phone call is one way to read out a message, a code to you, and then you enter that code, just like we're going to do right now. Now I'm going to do this using a text message because it's the easiest one in my opinion, because you don't need to install anything. You also don't need to actually answer the phone, so you can do it on the go. There's also a message here which reads, by continuing, you confirm that you're authorized to use this phone number and agree to receive a text message to confirm your identity in this session. Mobile network fees may apply. You may receive subscriber and device details from your mobile network provider to use for risk and fraud purposes. I'm going to select next and I'm also going to leave it right here on the receiver text. Let's go. Now it's going to give me a code in the form of a text message because I've agreed to those terms of receiving a text message from PayPal. You can hear it just there. My phone vibrated. It's right next to me. Let's just uh, quickly tap on that message here because I need to enter the code. So let's enter the code which would be right here. So my code right here is 616. Uh, that's Marvel, isn't it? 616520. Continue. I've confirmed my identity. My identity is confirmed. It's redirecting to the PayPal account now, and I'll be able to log in. Now, I wanted to show you this because there is a few updates that happen from time to time when you're logging into your PayPal account. But that is the information you will need in order to access your PayPal account.